Thank you very much. You no longer need to wear a mask. And it seems. No, I didn't say. I have a saying that you're fully vaccinated in an area where we do not have. Well, let me clarify. In May, you made it sound like a well, vaccine Nick, was the true. ticket to losing the mask forever. And that, it, that is true at the time, because I thought there were people who were going to understand that getting vaccinated made a gigantic difference. And what happened was. New variant came along, they didn't get vaccinated, it was spread more rapidly, and people more people were getting sick. That's the But how does that mean those people, sir? How is the first lady, sir? Yes. Thank you so much, Mr. President. Thank you. Um, I wanted to ask, why not um, require that the people show proof that they're vaccinated? And also, if you could just with the four million, how much of an impact do you think this will have? Do you have a projection, sir? The projection on what? On how many people will get vaccinated by putting in this system? No, I, I'm not going to get in the bid business of projecting. I uh, know exactly how many people are likely. All I know is that we go through these periods, then we run up against a wall, then something happens where people realize, oh my lord, this is really a problem, and they begin to see things. Look. The fact that uh, um, a lot of your friends are now saying, get vaccinated, who were before were saying, this is not a problem. This is all a democratic thing with a small D and a capital D. I mean, there's a lot changing. People are becoming aware. The more aware they become, then we have these surges of people going out and getting vaccinated. And it just keeps building. I'm sorry. Sir. What about what? Requiring proof, sir. Well, that is, there's two ways to do it. Um, and uh, I think you're going to see some institutions doing that. Like, you're going to fly abroad, you gotta, you're going to have to have proof. You're not just going to be able to say, yeah, I got tested, and you got to provide proof. My guess is, if we don't start to make more progress, a lot of businesses and a lot of enterprises are going to require proof for you to be able to participate. Mr. <laughs> President, back. And then I'm going to take off shortly here. What further actions are you going to take to encourage private businesses to follow this type of model to either require vaccines or require testing or other preventative procedures? I just did. I'm going to keep at it. I'm going to be talking about it around the country. Are you going to reach out to private businesses, meet with them, try and actively encourage them to follow this model? Well, I have. That's why we have folks from the, every, from the Chamber of Commerce to the manufacturers, et cetera. So, you know, I am, am I going to call a meeting of every, you know, business in the country to come to Washington or go on? I have made the case repeatedly. I doubt whether there's a single solitary business that doesn't understand that I think it's smart for them to require testing, require, and if you, if you can't demonstrate, you can't prove you've been vaccinated, you have to be tested. <laughs> Austin said he was already considering mandating the yeah. vaccine after it was fully approved. Would you like to see the mandate going to effect before full approval? And do you think he's open to that? I know he's open to it. And the question is, when is the right time to get the most bang for the buck when you do it? A lot of this is timing. And so I think it's going to happen. But I look, the one thing that you all are be politely and appropriately referencing is that it's still a temporary approval. So when does the final approval come? It usually takes a lot of a lot of work to, to get there. I made a commitment. I would not tell anyone in the Justice Department who they should prosecute, and I would not tell the health industry, the, the, excuse me, the government health entities what they should say and do. But my expectation is they're going to reach that conclusion in the early fall. 